Good morning developers. I uh, hope you guys are doing fine and in this video I'm going to be talking about a fan out architecture and actually we're going to actually make this architecture on Amazon Web Services from scratch. So we have a nice understanding of every single thing. Okay, so without wasting much of time, let's get started. So the architecture is like this. So the message is basically published to SNS topic. So basically we, you know, there's a, we publish a topics, let's say the topic is called foo. Every single guy who subscribed to foo topic will get the updates. For example, let me give you a very nice example. Let's say um, I have two topics, temperature and humidity. Whoever wants temperature will subscribe to temperature. Whoever wants humidity, subscribe to humidity. Whoever wants both temperature and humidity, subscribe to both of them, right? So we have, we'll be creating a topic. As soon as these, so basically as soon as we publish anything into the topic, we will publish those messages on the queue. So the queue are as a subscriber. So instead of directly putting it on the Lambda function, what we are trying to do is basically we're making an async fan out architecture. So basically we publish all the subscribers so we can have multiple subscribers. So the queue basically, it will keep putting messages no matter the rate of the input might be high or slow. The Lambda would be taking at a leisurely pace from the queue and process it. That's the architecture, right? That's the whole gist of the idea. So multiple fan out architecture, which basically means multiple, um, you can have Q1, Q2 and so on, whatever, how much you wanna do. In this video, we will do is basically publish a message to SNS topic, SNS topic to Q, Q2, Lambda, Lambda to S3. So entire journey, okay? So let's uh, begin the journey. Uh, I'm on my Amazon cons console. I'm on my Amazon console uh, right here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is basically you want to head over to the SNS topic. Um, so simple notification service. So the first thing is we need to create a notification. So I'm going to come on to the dashboard section right there. Come to the topics, create topic. Uh, let's call this. Um, I'm going to call my topic uh, or let's call. Um, let me call something meaningful. Uh, let's say we are publishing name topic. Uh, yeah, name is fine. Similarly, your name. Encryption, if you want to enable encryption, uh, you feel free to do that. I'm not going to do it for this video. Uh, then access policy, I'm going to keep it to basic to owner only. Uh, you can also define um, who will subscribe to the topic, only the topic owner, everyone. Um, so there are a lot of options. So let's create a topic. So the topic is created, right? Pretty good. Now, what we want to do is come to Jupyter Notebook. That's my AWS access key secret key okay uh, i'm gonna of course delete that but first of all what we need to do is basically we need to get the list of um what do you call that uh queue so i'm gonna say list topics so as soon as you do that this is the topic right that's the name of the topic that we created you want to copy that in order to uh, you know publish messages now we are going to publish a message on that okay that's good amazing guys you did it now what we want to do is basically when you publish message we want to have some subscription so open amazon console on another tab and make sure to head over to sqsq and here i'm gonna create a queue here okay create a queue as usual test queue leave everything to default create a queue queue is created now we want to add a subscription subscription uh, protocol would be amazon sqs endpoint it's going to ask me for an endpoint so i think it's still creating a queue usually it takes time okay for the changes to be reflected so here you can see it's still not showing up for some reason so amazon sqs queue let's see if we can create a subscription oh yeah it's done so now head over to the topic section. That's the topic that we created. Whenever I publish any messages here to this topic, uh, there is a subscriber that is the SQSQ. So we'll publish the message into SQSQ as shown in the diagram. So now I'm publishing a message basically called his name, Somil Shah sub count 99919. Okay. Remember it might take time to see the data in the queue. I, uh, sometimes it's not that immediate. So we have a response, which is okay. Now, hopefully if you come to the queue, I can come to the queue section. Right now it says zero, right? I mean, you would see some messages when once it's, um, you know, coming from the topic, topic to the queue. 
um yeah so it's it, it takes a couple of seconds or minutes i guess so uh, you you should see all the changes here initially meanwhile that is being happening what we, what we want to do is basically by the way i think i have one small prop oh that's good i think this is good now what you want to do is basically as soon as we get messages on the queue we want to fire up a lambda function right so um the easiest way i can think of this is basically um you know i already do have a simple lambda but i'm going to show you what my lambda looks like so we want to push that json document that we published on the topic which will be in the queue and then queue to the lambda okay so that's the json that you want to put this json on s3 document so i do have a test lambda function uh, what was the name i forgot the name uh give me one sec guys i think oh yeah test queue lambda that's the lambda that's the entire code that i wrote to just put the data in the you know on 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 um, s3 simple very simple nothing fancy okay so getting the data from the events whatever you push and then we push it on the s3 what we want to do here is basically when we do uh, publish topics to sq sq right from the sns we want the queue to handle that right so you want to add um lambda triggers configure lambda triggers um then here you want to say test queue lambda now click on save okay so the lambda has been created so the chain has been created topic sns topic queue lambda function and we can put them the s3 so hopefully the entire process should be familiar with you um head over to the queue section uh, let me see refresh it's still not showing up it's it's fine sometimes it takes a while um now let's um see to push some data there so so i just um i'm pushing some data there so you know uh you know what i can do is for x in i'm going to put some data there for 10 and what i am going to do okay and here let me put the i okay uh and the one more thing that i want to do So, oops, we have an error. Name error i. That's because I defined an x and not an i. So now what we are essentially doing is, hey, we are pinging that lambda function like, hey, put the message, put the message. Wait, what should I have done? Is basically I forgot one small thing, and that's my problem. Uh, I should have printed it so I can show you. so we are you know putting messages on the aws uh, queue so we should see the messages in a while because it's going to come to the topic we are publishing it to a topic right once it's there on the topic we basically put it on the queue and the queue then fires up the lambda function so we have these data okay in the in the in the published to the topic so which is um, over here now uh, what we can do however monitoring Let's check the CloudWatch. If the messages are consumed by the queue, I mean, if it's consumed by the lambda, it's not going to show you because think about it. If it, the messages are coming up, it's going to fire up the lambdas, right? So, so head head over to the uh, view uh, logs in CloudWatch. You can verify that as well um, if you want to do that. Let me go here. Add a break statement there. Just wanted to push the message as well. All right, so that's the logs. Um, you hopefully you can see that triggered. Because I'm not printing it, am I printing it in the lambda? Want to make sure. Let me see the code. Uh, yeah, there should be something called a zin, right? So just for debugging purposes, basically. Da okay so here you can see in then we have this entire record which is coming from the sns topic and now if i actually head over to the s3 you see how this architecture is working so should be there on the s3 
Um, so here you can see one to one JSON, nine JSON, whatever data I was passing, it's there on the S3, right? So you hope you guys got a good idea on how to, you know, create this um, fan out architecture. You have, you publish a message to an SNS topic, SNS topic to the queues, queues to Lambda, Lambda to S3, and so on, right? So it's a very nice architecture. Whenever you have time, give it a shot, try it out. What I would do is actually, I would um, leave all the links as well as the code of the SNS topic and everything on the description section below. So, you know, you can play and test it out if you want to try it out. Um, as usual, guys, if you have any any more questions or any further, you are you want to know something about AWS. If I know, I'll definitely try to help you out uh, in any way I can. So that's it for this video. Hope you, you guys have enjoyed it. If so, do give a like. If you have any additional questions, kindly put your question in the comments. I would be very happy to assist you. Uh, once again, keep smiling, keep coding, and see you guys next time.